Psalms 26, 26 verse 7, you will see that I will proclaim with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all your wondrous work. Tonight I want us to thank God and we tell him, we thank him for his wondrous work. Sometimes we do forget the, the wondrous God, work of God. Uh, when, we, when we are in a certain situation, we forgot the victory that God has given us. We forgot when you say thank you. In other words, you are telling God, do what you have done for me again. Unaribia mungu ni tende tena. Nifungulie milango tena. Psalms 30, tutasoma the, the scripture and then tutaomba tu. Psalms 30, 11. Psalms chapter 30, verse 11 to 12. The Bible says, You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have put off my circle and clothed me with gladness. So why are you saying thank you, Jesus? Because God has turned your sorrow into dancing. That time I was so sorrowful, but God made me to dance. Remember there was a time Things were not working for you. Shetani alikuwa ameweka yu aibu juu yako. Lakini mungu waka yondoa. Akafanya uka mchezea. You have a reason to say thank you. Psalms 107 verse 1. It says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord. For he is good. For his mercies endure us forever. He the mercies of God endure us forever. God is so merciful to you. Kuna wakati, mimi fibi siku stahiri. Lakini kwa sababu ya lehema zake, because of his mercies, I am who I am today. If it were not for mercy, for his mercies, I could not be the person I am today. I could be a miserable person. I could be the worst person. Who you could not even, maybe even admire. But because of the mercies of God, when you were to love that you were always, but because of the mercies of God, because of His love, you are who you are today. Just thank Him. Unapo mshukuru milango ya punguka. Ingependa tusimame kwa miku. Shukuru mungu kwa wema wake. Shukuru mungu kwa afya yake. Shukuru mungu kwa afya yako. Shukuru mungu kwa mbali huu ambao mekufikisha. My father, I thank you because you are so good to me. I thank you because of your mercies. I thank you because of your grace over my life. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, everlasting God. We honor your name. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we give thanks. Amen. In that, that very, very same prayer, I'm thinking we are here as sisters. And uh, I want us to make the same, same prayer, but specifically from Reverend Grace Moelu Masika. Amen. Amen. I'm talking from a point of a married woman. There is no married woman who just give out her husband out just like that. That you call him at night, you call him in the morning, you call him during the day, you send him errands, you do please call me, and that this lady has been so tolerant to us. If Bishop has ever been a blessing to you, you have a reason to tell God thank you for Reverend Grace. Amen. Amen. Because if she has been a thorn in that life, I want to tell you, we couldn't be blessed. But she has sacrificed her time, her pleasure, her everything, just to make us feel comfortable. I want us to make the very, very same prayer, but specifically. Specifically mention Reverend Grace Moelu Masika. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Open up your mouth and just thank the Lord. Father, we thank you. We bless you, Lord Almighty. We honor you this hour, O God. We magnify thee, Jehovah. Jehovah, she has sacrificed for God. Thank thee, everlasting Father. She has allowed us in the name of Jesus. And before we shift from there, we just want to make a prayer for her. We want us to make this one prayer for her. We are going to ask the Lord. This is our first month of this year. We want to tell the Lord, give her more grace. Amen. Just give her the grace 
to carry us as a mother, to remain a blessing to us, to walk this journey with us, to be a blessing to this ministry. Sister, just assume there's no brother in the house. I want to tell you, if this lady smiles, the heaven will smile over us. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. If she's disappointed, trust me you, we shall also be disappointed. Hello? Hello. If she's disappointed, we will also get disappointed. But if we pray for her that God, handle her issues, fight her battles, Amen. give her peace, Amen. give her the grace, yes. let the joy of the Lord fill her heart. Yes. Let her always be provided for. Yes. Trust me, you, their demons will not need to fight. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. One is to see few women. It works. If we bless her, our life shall be blessed. I want us to go pray. This is just one prayer. Just tell God, God, grace, grace. Give grace the grace. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Just to be the vessel that God wants her to be in this year. As we move on as a ministry, mm -hmm. as we move on as, a, as daughters of destiny, as we move on as individual, we individually need her grace in our lives for us to prosper. Let's just ask God, God, grace our mother. Give her the grace. Expand her with your grace. Anoint her with your grace. Fill her with your grace. Let her be the carrier of your grace. In the year 2023, this is our prayer, oh God. Fill your servant, Reverend Grace, with your grace, oh God. I pray for her in our
can make this prayer. We, we are praying that that uh, grace abounds upon our life. I want us to pray again. That in this year 2023. Let's ask God to renew her strength, to empower her, to fill her fresh with the Holy Spirit. Let's, let's pray that the Lord renews her strength in 2023. Let's ask if you No, just like our president has put it. There's a way she carries the ministry. Kuna jinsi ambavyo anaubeba uhuduma. Kama vile amesema, if it is not, you know her. Kama vile ambavyo raisifetu ameweka, kama if she is affected in one way. Yeye akeheterika kwa jia moja. The ministry is affected. Basi uhuduma huu unaathirika. I want us to pray. Hivyo basi ningebena tuombe. That the Lord renews her strength. Kwa mungu atamujaza mungu. That the Lord empowers reverend grace afresh. Kwa mba mungu atamujaza upia. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Leka tama zaya na kwa 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 zaya na k
Kwa hivyo kwa ufupi tukipenda kujifunisha sisi as of destiny kama binti wa hatima as women kama wanawake who are we understand what is God's agenda for us as women kwa ufupi ningependa tujifahamishe ajenda ya Mungu kwetu kama wanadada and uh, let's read the genesis chapter 2 kwa haraka wacha tujie kitabu cha mwanzo mlango wa pili and verse 18 mstari wa 18 genesis 2:18 and the lord god said it is not good that the man should be alone i will make him an help meet for him hallelujah so that is the basis of who we are in the kingdom of god mwanzo mbili 18 bwana mungu akasema si vema huyo mtu awe peke yake nitamfanyia msaidizi wa kufanana naye kwa hivyo kwa ufupi huo ndio msingi wa mungu kwetu uh, we were created as helpers sisi tuliungwa kama wasaidizi and uh, maybe before i talk briefly about this it is important for us to know na labda kwa ufupi kabla sijashiriki kuhusu haya ni muhimu sisi tufahamu that you and I, ya kwamba wewe nami we were not an afterthought sisi hatukuwa tu kitu cha kufunikia ama kitu cha baadaye hey, Mungu akufikiria baadaye asema hmm kumbe this one was supposed to be here no <laughs> it was in the divine agenda of god ilikuwa ni katika makusudio ya created us, us na alituumba to fulfill a specific purpose utimiliza lengo fulani the moment we understand that na mradi tunaelewa vile we will serve our mandate sisi tutatimiliza so we were created kwa hivyo tuliumbwa for a specific purpose kwa ajili ya kusudi fulani as women kama wanawake there's a purpose that god created us na kusudi ambalo mungu alitupa na great purpose for that na kusudi kuu kwa hayo na leo sifiwe So we are saying we were created as helpers. Kwa hivyo tunasema tuliumbwa kama wasaidizi. What do helpers do? Je, wasaidizi kazi yao ni ipi? They help. Number one. Ya kwanza. They compliment. Wao wanajaza pengo. If I ask you to come and help me, nikikuuliza uje unisaidie kufanya kitenda jambo fulani. Then I don't have enough strength. Ni labda uende kama sina nguvu za kutosha. The work is too much overwhelming. Ama hiyo kazi imenizidi. Some I need some compliment, uh, compliment and some completeness. Ama labda kwa njia fulani tunahitaji ukamilifu fulani. So as helpers, kwa hiyo kama wasaidizi, we are meant to be uh, to complement the work of God. Sisi kama wasaidizi tunahitajika pale kusaidia ama kujaza to perfect God's work kukamilisha kazi ya Mungu where women are found mahali ambapo wanadada wanapatikana perfection is there ukamilifu uko pale let us feel it amen because we are created to perfect things maana tuliumbwa kukamilisha vitu There's so much on our shoulders. Kunayo mengi katika mabega yetu as daughters of destiny kama binti wa hatima and as women na kama wanawake. God has a great purpose. Mungu anayo makusudi makuu for us. Why to? And that's why we should not be little ourselves. Na ndio sababu hatufai kujidunisha. We were created to complement. Maana tuliumbwa kukamilisha. So the moment we understand that purpose. Kwa hivyo wakati unaelewa ile kusudi we we'll do that in our families we we'll we'll do that in the ministry we we'll we'll do that in every place where we are supposed to be we we'll are as if we amen and as we perfect god's work we fulfill our mandate tunatimiliza makusudi yetu so as if we amen so we were created to complement or to complete anything that is incomplete either in our homes kwa kama you are not married in that home where you are born kwa hivyo tuliumbwa kukamilisha chochote ambacho hakijakamilisha so long as we are a of destiny nyumbani kwetu so long as you are a woman mradi wewe ni mwanamke na binti wa hatima complement tuliumbwa kukamilisha and to perfect na kukamilisha the work of god kazi ya mungu number 2 ya pili we were created tuliumbwa to be builders kuwa wajenzi builders let's read titus chapter 2 wajenzi tusome kitabu cha tito mlango wa pili verse 3 to 5 mstari wa pili hadi 
watano. Uh, the aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers, not given too much wine, teachers of good things. Verse 4. That they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Hallelujah. Amen. The summary of that scripture is home building. Home building. Home building. So not just home building, as we build the home. We shape destinies. And if the families are shaped, Na wakati jambizi na umbua, and they are well built na zinajengwa vizuri oh the church is established sasa kanisa linaimarika yes, amen as help us kama wasaidizi kuna ile assignment yenye Mungu alitupatia okay that you be serving this way not that it's an inferior job or an inferior assignment we were purposely created for that let's see when we build our homes because we are created to be builders now we shape those destinies and uh, as we say that the family is the basic social unit of society when we shape society when we shape the family when we build our family the society gets established and the church gets established. And you can bear me witness. Right now, as we neglect our roles, if it's answer to Kia Chile, my we are flying outside the country for businesses which is good. We are seriously working. And we have forgotten this whole building. Of course, I know it's the end times been prophesied, a number of things will happen. The moment we stand and build our families, ah, the church will be strong. The side will start. And God will be glorified. When so we build homes, we build families, we build the society. The society and the church, they get established. Number three, we build prayers. Mm. Women, wanawake. If, 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 if you've been uh, a student of the world, kama umekuwa mwanafunzi wa neno, you realize that uh, uh, women have been used figuratively to represent the church. Utatambua ya kwamba wanawake wametumika kimfano kuwakilisha kanisa. In the book of Ephesians chapter 5, the Apostle Paul uses the analogy of marriage to show the relationship between Christ and the church. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife and they two shall be one flesh. I want to read verse 27. Give us verse 27. Mstari wa 27 527 Mlango wa 5 Yes that he might present it to himself that the church 
Because the Apostle Paul is talking about the husband, of course, and the wife. So in the day, Jesus says, it's a great mystery, but talking about Christ and the church. He says that Christ might present the church to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. Inasema kwamba ili Kristo apate kujiletea kujiletea kanisa utukufu lisilo na ila wala kunyanzi wala lolote kama hayo bali liwe takatifu lisilo na mawa. Hallelujah. Amen. So as women we uh carry the glory of God. Kwa hivyo kama wanawake tunabeba utukufu wa Mungu. We represent the church. Sisi tunawakilisha kanisa. And see that the church is supposed to be holy. Na tunaona pale kwamba kanisa linapaswa kuwa takatifu. To be pure. Liwe takatifu. Liwe to be blameless. Liwe bila mawa. Just like a bride. You know the church. Uh, uh, they, they talk about the bride. Jesus will come to present himself the bride. Unajua kanisa linalinganishwa na biharusi. Yesu atakuja kumchukua biharusi. Biharusi ni nani? This is the problem. So, it's 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 not an easy thing. It's not a very small matter. Wala si ya mojogo that the church in a denomination a bride. What does the church do? Je, kanisa ni tafanya nini? Ni tafanya nini? It is in the church. It is in the church. Ni katika kanisa. Where people are taught, ambapo watu wanafundishwa. It is in the church where people grow. Ni katika kanisa ambapo watu wanakuwa. It is in the church where we are shaped. Ni kanisa ni ambako tunaunda. If you look at what the church does, okay, angalia mukitiza makila bato kanisa ni nafasi. It is in the church where we are where we are shepherded. Utatambua kuma ni kanisa ni ambapo tunachungwa. And this is what the apostle Paul was saying that the church is like a bride. Na hiyo Tume Paulo anasema kwamba kanisa ni kama biharusi. Kanisa sifiwe. We are mandated. Sisi tunalo jukumu. We have an assignment. Tuna kazi. Kanisa sifiwe. Specifically that God made us to achieve or to carry out. Lile ambalo Mungu alituumbia ili tutekeleze. That we may glorify his name. Ili tulitukuze jina lake. That as we walk in holiness. Kwamba tunapotembea katika utakatifu. And, and you know the enemy knows. Na unajua pia adui anafahamu. The enemy knows that we are to be holy. Adui anafahamu ya kwamba tunapaswa kuwa watakatifu. We are to be pure. Tunapaswa kuwa watewe. We are to be blameless. Tunapaswa kuwa bila kunyanzi. That's why you can find all manner of things. Ni sababu unaweza kupata mambo yote ya kila aina aina. On us. Kwetu sisi. Not on men. Sio kwa wanaume. The devil knows. Hadu ya nafahamu. Just to do away with what is made for us. Ili atuondoshe kwa kila ambacho tunapaswa kuwa. Nisa sifiwe. We have been called to represent the church. Nisi tumeitua kuwakilisha kanisa. And to walk in holiness. Na kutembea katika utakatifu. To walk in purity. Kutembea katika utakatifu. And be blameless before the Lord. Tuwe bila mawa wala kunyanzi bele za buwana. Nisa sifiwe. Amen. We... We we have a higher calling. Tunamuito waju. Yes, I know we are supposed to be submissive. Na juu ni kwa ni tunapaswa kunyenyekea. But the moment we understand our position, lakini mrani tunailewa na fasieto. And our space, na na fasieto. In God's agenda, katika agenda ya mungu, we will just flow. We will just mambo ya kutatiri. We will just flow. To tatiri rikato, and God will bless us. Na mungu atatubareke. So because of time, kwa hivyo kwa jili ya wakati. I'll continue our next conference. Nitaendelea katika kongamano letu lijayo. This topic I had prepared a serious topic for the entire church. Nilikuwa nimeandaa mada mazuri ya muhimu kabisa kwa ajili ya kanisa. Sasa hii nimeshia na wewe kidogo tu. Sasa tutamalizia in our next conference this occasion. We have to pray so president unajua tuko na conference. <laughs> so so for now we have to pray. Kwa sasa tunapaswa kuomba. So this one is mafundisho haya ni ya kongamano. So let's let's be up on our feet. kwa miguu yetu. Angalau tuna tuna tumepata kidogo. What God 
requires of us. Must help us. We are a support system. Kama We support our families. We support the ministry. We support the society. Through prayer. Upitia maombi. Through the resources that we have. Kupitia rasilimani tulizo Kwa hivyo ufanya tu kile ambacho unapaswa kufanya. So the moment we understand that. Mradi unaelewa yale. God will bless us. Mungu atatubariki. Bless us if you will. Amen. So I just want us to just thank the Lord for this new day. Kwa hivyo ningependa tumshukuru tu Mungu kwa ajili ya siku hii. Let's just appreciate the Lord. Tumshukuru tu Bwana. Thank the Lord for the new day. Shukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya siku hii. Father we say thank you. We are thankful for the new day. Thank you Lord. Tumshukuru tu Mungu kwa ajili ya siku hii. Tumshukuru tu Bwana. We say thank you. We say thank you.
Katika jina la Yesu tumeomba. Job chapter 5 and verse 12. Yohana 5:12. Job. Ayubu. Ayubu 5:12. He frustrates the devices of the crafty. Yeye hugandamiza wasia wa wamovu. He frustrates the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot carry out their plans. Ili mikono yao isije timiliza malengo yao. You can just brush on it. Okay, he frustrates the plans of schemers so the work of their hands will not succeed. I want us to pray. Ngependa tuombe this midnight hour katika usiku wa manani this midnight hour i want us to ask jehovah god usiku wa usiku to frustrate these devices ningependa tumuulize whatever that they are scheming atangue mashauri ya yote ambao wanaopata against our life kinyume na maisha yetu against this ministry kinyume na huduma huu against our family kinyume na jamii zetu it's a right prayer hilo ni ombi pana make that prayer I can get that funny in our lives Italia Michelle in the ministry Michelle in our families ask the Lord to frustrate the devices of the wicked whatever that they are skipping in this journey let Jehovah God frustrate the devices so that their hands cannot carry out their plans in Jesus name let's pray my father my father oh Lord we pray this midnight hour Thank you. 